the dreaded lunge. How are your lunges going? Lunges are tricky. They're a fantastic exercise. You get to work one side differently from the other, but they're tricky. There's a lot of things going on. Oftentimes when I'm kind of helping one of my clients with doing their lunges, I'll see different things. The back foot, they'll be coming right off their big toe. You want to make sure your big toe's grounded, like right down into the ground. You want to feel that, not flopping off to the side. I'll see things like the knees going out in the back. More often, it'll go in. The front knee will tend to want to go in more often than out. So you'll be kind of getting this sort of motion. If you have your hands on top of your um, hips here, you want them to be even as you lunge down. You don't want to see things going all weird and turny and curvy in the, in the midsection. So sometimes what I get them to do, because there's so many things going on, use a wall. So their back foot, the heel can go up the wall. So you get yourself set up. Your forefoot is on the ground and you want to keep connection with your big toe, right? So adjust yourself so you have that connection with the big toe, the rest of the forefoot, all your toes. Your heel is pushing into the wall. As Soon as I push back, I can already feel hamstrings and glutes engaging. Then I adjust my front knee. So I'm, when I go down and up and down, I'm going straight up and down. I'm not doing a big, huge lean forward and torquing through my knee. I want to feel this knee staying right in line with my second toe, say, and that knee just goes straight down. My hips stay nice and level. So the wall can be super helpful. Go give that a try.